Howdy guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball day 603 of my ketogenic journey going from former BBW model down to keto cutie. Thank you. I'm loving every second of it. So, I have, um, I'm about to show you everything I ate yesterday that was keto friendly. I'm going to show you my macros, which were, uh, and uh, then we'll be back with a chit chat and a weigh in and why I don't think I'll be doing these blood pressure pills for very long at all. So anyway, check this out, guys. I'll even show you little snip clips from the household and the craziness, and then I'll talk to you. Oh, thumbs up, guys. Hey, everybody do me a favor. On the cast three, say hit the like button. One, two, three. I went to work today and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> She's an idiot. Hit the like button. <laughs> She's the one to pick two jobs, didn't she? Hey, hey, turn to no, I'm scared, too. But it's okay. Because one of my jobs at Sonic is going to make me a night shift manager. Yeah. And I've only been there for two days. Stop you know talking. How lucky that <laughs> Y'all want my household? Y'all see this? Do y'all see all this? My underwear rolled down. She's. Would you go get the juice? Me. Anyway, I'll be right back. Here's what I ate yesterday. Hit like. Yeah, so it's 2 p.m. I'm breaking another 20 hour fast with four sausage patties, two eggs, and two pieces of American cheese. And this might be one of my biggest blood pressure culprits. So I'm probably never going to eat this again, but these are the last sausage patties I had. So I'm going to finish them out and move on. <laughs> hey guys, breaking almost a six hour fast with uh, Philly cheesesteak, which is basically just um, three cooked portions of steakums, which is 100% beef, fried in coconut oil. That's what y'all see the grease is. Uh, I've got some peppers and onions in here. I'm going to avoid those. I'm not trying to eat nightshades or anything, but I added them to taste. And then um, some mozzarella cheese, home shredded. Pretty unprocessed meal. So, um, that last meal was not quite enough for me. It hadn't been but a few minutes since I ate it. So I'm having a serving of warmed up pepperoni and some ranch. We're going to see if this ranch affects me or not. The serving of pepperoni is out. Should have already been my last meal of the day, but I really wanted this and my son didn't need it, so I'm going to eat it. <laughs> It's the second helping. So, um, okay, so I ended up with 2,405 calories yesterday. Partially because I ended up eating all the steakums that I made because nobody else ate it and I was still hungry. So I ate like crazy yesterday. 2,405 calories, 8 grams of carbohydrates, 220 grams of fat, and 97 grams of protein. I'm not upset with it at all. It's not too bad, but I wish I'd have had the protein and fat just a little bit lower. Today's blood pressure is 149 over 91, resting heartbeat 94, usually it's lower than that. But uh, that's not too bad considering we were talking 223 over 131 the other day. That blood pressure pill is working, but damn, I don't want it. I'm, I'll tell y'all about that in a minute. So I just wanted to show you, this is the organic coconut oil I used. It's like 998 at Wally World. It's a huge tub of it. Um, so this is the best bang for your buck, the best price. And I've had people tell me that they don't like the taste or smell of coconut oil. I don't never smell or taste this one, so I mean, I don't know if there's something special about their senses or what, but uh, this one's fine for me. I cook in it and everything. I even keep a second tub of this in my shower, and I know that sounds crazy to some people, but um, when I get done taking a shower, before I dry off, while I'm still standing in the bathtub, I put coconut oil all over my body, so I mean, I really am kind of inside and out made of coconut oil at the moment. <laughs> I can't do it backwards. What are you talking about? Turn him around. Let him be front. Show him nowhere. Tell mama to do it. Oh, boy. Tell mama to do it. Mama's recording you. Boy, you got my finger. You put him on. What? I'll fall down. You're going to make Grandpa dizzy. I can't do it again. I'm You're so cute, you little mutt. <laughs> Hours is he's coming in. Thank God he wanted to come in because it's cold out there now. <laughs> Windy. Little toy. Oh, you didn't drop it, huh? Well, you thought it was funny for a minute there. Can you get it back? Here you go. Oh, well, two fingers. Uh oh. <laughs> Here you go, Grandma. Help you back. Oh, that little finger. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you getting too excited, dude. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you see what I ate yesterday. <laughs> you 
<laughs> right before I turn this camera on, <laughs> they said the dumbest thing, and I'm not repeating it right now. So it wasn't my fault, okay? I think it was. <laughs> no hers. You're the one that says you like them long. Not like that. I was talking about dresses. I like them down to my ankles. <laughs> That's not what it sounded like. But anyway. <laughs> you pervert. All right, all right, children, children. If I don't do this video now, it ain't going to get done today, guys, because it's already like 4.30, and I usually do these it's way earlier. 3.30, sorry. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You're not late for work. <laughs> I have to leave at 5. So let's go ahead and talk about weigh-in. Yesterday I weighed 189.6, which was 6, 0.6 up from my lowest. Today I was 190, so that's one pound up from my lowest. Now, it doesn't bother me too much, the weight especially, because um, I'm going through a whole lot of crazy things, like new medications, uh, new vitamins, and I ate a lot yesterday. So, But usually when I eat a lot, my weight doesn't go up, so it usually goes down, which is a plus on keto. Okay, you're still keto cutie. I asked a cutie. Uh, <laughs> She's always a cutie. Keto cutie. A cutie keto? I'm just cute. Yeah. Screw it. Anyway, hashtag I added. Keto for life. Hashtag keto for life. That's right. <laughs> and if Destiny doesn't become keto for life, she, she ain't gonna have one. That's true. I have a problem. So we checked her blood pressure today and holy crap. What was it the first time? It was. I don't remember. Where's the thing? Hers was high. Mine was actually down today, but still high. But I'm on medication now, so y'all know how that works. Let's see if I can tell you what Destiny's was real fast. 166 over 100. That was Destiny. So that was too high, obviously. And her blood sugar was 108. She's been awake for a long time and hasn't ate in a while. So that was a little high, too. I just checked my blood pressure. I think think it's this one. No, wait. Hold up. I forgot. Wait, no, it's Destiny's. Alright. 149 over 91. So that is a lot lower than mine was, so it's great. But the blood pressure pills they put me back on, which was lisinopril, I remembered another real big reason why I wanted the hell off of them. They give me a dry, nagging cough. I can't inhale my vape. I can't get near anything that, that has any scent to it, or I'll start hacking and, and gagging basically they gotta go so I'm gonna take them but I'm gonna go see my doctor real soon as soon as she get an appointment we're we gonna talk um, they, they're I ain't having that at all I don't feel good right across here but it might be gas my heartbeat's been good let's see I am running my mouth though so it might be a little high 91 right now so it's okay I did watch my Fitbit do something earlier today like I, I tell y'all I only had I think about, I might have had six hours of sleep today, I'm not real sure, but a little less. So when I first got up, I checked my heartbeat. 78, 79, 80. I was watching it climb, no longer than this thing stays on, so it was just climbing, I was just standing there. And then it jumped to 121, and 131, and then it dropped back down. So I checked my phone, where my phone usually tells you, oh, I'm using it to record, where it usually tells you what your heartbeat's been throughout the day, and it didn't show a spike on my phone, on the, the, the sync up with the Bluetooth. So I don't know. But it did kind of startle me because I could actually feel my heart doing this. And when I get up first thing in the mornings, when I haven't had much sleep, I feel my heart accelerate like that almost every morning. <clears throat> I used to, I had to wear a heart monitor, I think, three different times for 24 hours and one time with 48 hours. And all I ever found out was that I had a significant heart event, but this was well before I started keto. So I don't know what the hell was wrong with me, but I got to fix it because I'm getting sick of it. And I'm damn sure not going to take these blood pressure pills forever. You can bet your butt on that. The anxiety pills, they got five more days to show me I can sleep with them. Otherwise, there ain't no point in taking them. I don't feel like I, I'm anxious. And a lot of people will say, well, you don't sleep much. Maybe you, you have depression. I don't feel depressed. I mean, things get on my nerves. But who the hell don't have things get on their nerves? My house could be better. My cars could function right. Everybody could be sweet peas. I think you've just been stressed lately. I, oh, I'm pretty sure it's a lot of stress, especially, you know, coupled with not sleeping. That can spike your cortisol. Stress spikes your cortisol. Ain't no telling. So, I'm not interested in drugs. I'm just not. And, and one more week, if I'm not sleeping like a baby for eight hours, then them pills can go because I can already sleep five hours on my own. I don't need no drugs to help me do that. Uh, and somebody mentioned a carb up day. 
And I don't want to do that because, again, in my keto journey, I'm in a good spot. My ketones are good. My weight was dropping until I started the feels. Hi. Uh, where did you come from? <laughs> You really want to know the answer to that? I know where he came from. Thank you very much. Uh, so anyway, I'm doing good in my journey, so I don't really want to do a carb up day, but I do know that on days that I kick myself, I sleep better. So I might actually eventually try that. I'm not real sure yet. How are you guys doing in your keto journey? Again, I went backwards as far as my weight went. Um, I'm one pound up from my lowest, which is not too bad, all things considered. We'll just have to see how it goes. How are you doing on your keto journey? Do you need any help? Do you have any advice? What can I really do holistically about my blood pressure and about sleeping? And like, I don't need anything that helps me go to sleep. I don't. I can go to sleep fine. I just can't sleep more than five hours. So if it can make you instantly go back to sleep, that would be helpful. Um, or help you actually get a full eight hours. That would be helpful. And I've tried all the other stuff, darker room, that kind of thing, quiet space. It's my bedroom. It's back yonder in the dark. Ugh. Got those light curtains up, that, well, dark curtains, whatever you call them. They block the light out. So that's not the problem. I just don't know. And I don't play with my phone like as I go to bed. I sit over to the side and it's nowhere near me. But I don't know. Do you have any holistic ideas to help me heal this so I can get the hell away from the pills again? I'm pretty sure sleep is my issue, but I'm not positive. And plus, maybe it could be the processed foods because I was eating a lot of them too. Anyway, how are you doing on the 10% challenge? Have you dropped any? What, what percentage have you dropped? What was your goal for it? And are you still working out? I was all over the yard yesterday. My grandson made me chase him down to the uh, yard. We was running back and forth to the trash can. My mama cheats. I want you to know that. When I counted for my grandson to see how fast he runs to the trash can and back, uh, I was one, two, three, four. He can do it in 23 seconds. I ran down there and back. My mama, one, two, three, four, five months. Stop that. <laughs> so I'm round and slow and short, so it didn't work out that way. But I think I was like 43 seconds. But anyway, how are you guys doing on everything? Do you need any help? I added more stuff to my Keto Diamond store thingy with the uh, sweatshirts and stuff. Some more Keto Cutie items, especially with the, uh, the, with the diamond on them. I added a lot of stuff. Another cell phone case. By the way, like the iPhone cases, it, it, there's yes. multiple iPhones you can pick from. And almost everything, I'm pretty sure everything I selected, I selected in multiple colors. So it has a lot of different colors. That link will be in the comment section pinned to the top. So you can find it if you want to go check them out. Let me know if there's any other ideals you have. And visit KetoDiamond.com for all your keto stuff written out. Much love to you guys and dolls. Talk to y'all tomorrow.